So in previous video on numbers and strings, if you had a chance to watch it, we've touched on variables a little bit without really getting deeper. So in today's video, we'll, we'll talk about Python variables specifically and in depth. So what are variables? So variables are used to store values, right? Whatever the values are, whatever the type of value is. However, in Python, you don't declare variables like you do in some programming languages. So the moment you assign a value to the variable is when the variable is actually created. So we'll look at different rules to creating variables, you know, how you can change them after you create them, how you can specify the data type. So let's get started. So these are rules to create variables. So they have to start with a, with a letter uh, or underscore character. And they can't start with a number either. And they can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. So, uh, you know, A through Z, uh, 0 through 9, and underscore. So no dollar sign, for example, no percent sign, um, etc. And they are also case sensitive. So let's look at some examples here. So let's say you want to um, create a variable called name. And you want to assign the name John uh, to it, for example. If you print name, you know, you get John. So this is a valid variable name. You can also have underscore name starting with that. And if you print that, it's still going to be valid. However, you cannot start uh, with a number. If you say one name for whatever reason and you decide to print that as well, it's going to give you an error. So you cannot start with a, with a number when you're creating a variable. So the name also cannot contain, uh, the variable can't contain uh, anything else but alphanumeric characters. So let's say you decide to, um, you know, put a percent sign to it, you're also going to get a, um, a, an error message as well. Right? So you can't have percent sign, you can't have uh, and sign, you can't have dollar sign, et cetera, et cetera. So only A through Z, zero, 0 through 9, or underscore. So you can have like, you know, underscore 1, uh, I mean underscore um, 1. So if you run this, you, you know, it's going to be valid as well. You just can't start with a, with a number, but you, the variable can contain a number. Uh, so only uh, regular, you know, numeric characters and underscores, nothing else. So they're also case sensitive. So for example, if I declare, um, you know, I assign John to name and I, for whatever reason, my, you know, I, I just inadvertently hit um, my caps, you know, to capitalize and say, oh, let me just print name. That's gonna, that's not gonna be valid at all because these are two different things in Python. So if you run it, you're gonna get an error as well. So just um, be mindful of that, that although it's name and name, uh, this is capital and this is not, but in Python, there's a different differentiation between the two. So let's say uh, you somehow, um, you know, put here a capital letter N and you also decide to run this, you're going to get an error, a case-sensitive case error um, here. So again, uh, this is different in Python than this is also different in Python than this, right? So just bear that in mind. So Python also allows you to redeclare uh, a variable once you already declared. So what I mean by that is, for, ex for example, if you already have a name, a variable called name, and you assign, let's just use our, our example here, and, you know, you print name, that's going to print John, right? Because that's the value that's assigned to the variable called name. Let's say you also want to, you know, for whatever reason, you redeclare the variable name, and assign a new value to it. Let's say, you know, you say Eric, for example, and you print name, it's going to print Eric. 
So Python allows you to redeclare a variable, you know, once you already declare it. So um, bear that in mind as well. All right, so you see how we um, assign one value to one variable. Python also allows you to assign values to multiple variables in one line. For example, if you have a variable called um, x, y, z, and you want to assign values to each one of these, you can um, you can use uh, you know one line to assign these multiple variables. So let's say x you want to assign let's say orange. Um, y is just a name, for example, John. It doesn't really matter. Just this is just an example. Um, this is pen, for example. So if I run this, if I print x, print y, print z, orange, john, and pen. So essentially, uh, it allows you to assign values to multiple variables in you know in one line and you can also assign the same value to multiple variables in one line as well let's say you know using the same example here you can say um, x equals y equals z all of that equals um, pen whatever so if I print x Print y, oh, y, print z. If I run it, it's going to just print however many times you assign the value um, to those variables. So uh, data, data type is important in, in Python, not just Python actually, but just in any programming. So we've talked about how uh, variables can be of different types, right? So the different types of variables or the different types of data can do different things. So we've, you know, in Python, there's a lot of uh, built-in data types um, by default. You can have strings, right? We've seen that a lot. We've seen, um, you know, numbers. But you have also list tuples and, you know, dictionaries and, and et cetera, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But in Python, you can actually get the data type of any object by using what they call, you know, the type function. So let's try that. So, for example, if I uh, have a variable, this in this case, this is an integer, this is a number, um, and I want to know the type of, you know, the type of um, uh, variable this is, then I would use the type function. So you will have print type, and then you put the variable name here. And if you hit run, it's going to tell you that the class is actually an integer, right? So let's use another example. Uh, let's say you say x still, but in this case, you use a string. Let's just uh, use John. Um, and let's print, we can just copy this because it's the same variable. And if you run that, it tells you that this John actually, you know, the value that was assigned to the variable X is a string. So let's say you assign a floating number, you know, like a decimal, 9.5. It says float. So you can really determine any type, you know, the, the data type that you're using by using the type function. So another example here as well, let's say you have um, a complex number. So if you run that, it's gonna tell you that it is a complex number. And also if you wanna specify the data type itself, you can do so um, you know, within the function itself. So here you can declare, or you can say that the 1j is actually 
a complex data type. So you can put that here, like as complex, um, 1J as well, right? You can do that as well. So use type function to um, set the, uh, the data type, or I mean to get the data type. Or if you want to also specify the data type, you can do so as well within the function itself. This will be important as we discuss uh, the input function later on in this course series. So I think this is it for variables. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thank you. Thank you.